young readers are invited on a journey in a world entirely ruled by dragons. Look out. This is my kind of world right here. <laughs> Joining us now is the best-selling author of the Wings of Fire series, Tui T. Sutherland. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited. <laughs> Jason and I are going to get cool parents points for yes, interviewing you today, Man, so thank you for that. <laughs> these books are huge in our kids' world. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, millions of readers have made the Wings of Fire series a worldwide phenomena. How do you think it's able to connect so powerfully with young audiences? Well, I think it's partly the fact that kids love dragons. I mean, I was certainly a kid who loved dragons. I would read anything with a dragon on the cover. Um, but I hope also it's that the dragons are really relatable. Um, they're not monsters. You know, they're, uh, they're, they have very human feelings and emotions, and you get to see inside of them. That was what I really wanted to do, was sort of flip the usual fantasy story and tell you, like, how the dragons feel about it and let them be the ones having all the adventures and saving the world and falling in love and acting like regular teenagers. And yeah. so I, I hope that that's what kids are finding to connect to about it, that there's someone in each book that they can see themselves in um, and imagine their own characters and their own dragons as well to, like, make up their own stories. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Which, uh, as a young kiddo, you know, your imagination is running wild, and to be a dragon, sure. super cool, right? Yeah, the best, <laughs> the best feeling. So this book that we're talking about today, it's a um, Wings of Fire Guide to the Dragon World. This one's a little bit unique in that it is filled with like new and beautiful artwork and um, some, some stories as well. Why did you feel like now was the time to release this guide? Um, well, I, kids have been asking for something like this for a while because they wanted sort of an encyclopedia of the world explaining all the different kingdoms. Uh, but there were certain tribes that we didn't meet until book 11. Um, so 11 through 15 introduced us to a different continent and, and three more tribes of dragons. And so I knew I wanted to wait until I'd written those so that we could include all 10 tribes and the kingdoms and, uh, and both of the maps of the continents, Sher Dunbar, a beautiful map artist, and make sure that all the details the kids could possibly want would make it into this book. Sure, yeah, you yeah. gotta have those details. So illustrator Joy Ang created the art for this book, is that right? Yes, she's incredible. She's done our covers on the novels all the way from the beginning, um, and I just love her dragons. I think she's an incredibly talented artist, and um, she does lots of other things besides draw dragons, but I, I'm so grateful to her for all of the beautiful art that she did in this book. It's really made it so beautiful. Absolutely. It brings it to life. Yeah, absolutely. So for you, Tui, do you have a favorite story or piece of art in, in this coffee table book? There are, so Joy did a, like, a portrait of a queen for each of the chapters, um, so of, a di of different queens that we've met throughout the books, um, and so there are a couple that are really beautiful. There's one of the leaf wings, um, where you see a queen and also this, like, little princess with her, this other, like, baby dragon, which is really cute, and this beautiful tree house that's sort of lit up in, in the middle of the night. Um, it, it's just a, an incredible piece of art. Um, and in terms of the stories, I got to write a story from the point of view of a character named Kinkajou, and kids are always asking me for a Kinkajou book. She's a <laughs> favorite character because she's very bubbly and very talkative. Um, and so getting to write a story that like she wrote for a school assignment was very was really fun to like get into her voice. Yeah, yeah I bet that was. <laughs> now fans of the series are called Fan Wings. Is that right, <laughs> Tui? Yeah, that's what they call themselves. Yes. So, cute. <laughs> so how influential have they been in the success of this series? so influential. I'm, I am so grateful to them. I feel like every time I get to go on the road and actually talk to them, it gets me all motivated and excited to write the next thing. They're always full of ideas. Um, I love that they're also creating their own tribes and dragons and characters, and I want them to feel like they're welcome in this world. That's very much what I'm going for in the books, is the idea that anyone can be a dragon that saves the world. There's not just one chosen dragon. Mm -hmm. And so I tell them, you know, my dragon is saving the world over here in book one, but your dragon could be in a different part of the continent saving the world a different way. And that's very much, I, I hope, the energy that they all seem to bring to it. They're like, oh, I have this wonderful idea, and I have this amazing character, and they bring me their art, and it just is so motivating. And um, inspiring for me and I, I love them so much they're yeah, the greatest fan. for sure okay so this book <laughs> is out beautiful book beautiful illustrations great stories but I gotta ask the question are we gonna be seeing a new Wings of Fire novel again anytime soon 
Yes, I can say that. <laughs> um, we are uh, it, currently discussing it, um, and I have a lot of ideas that I want to bring to the next book. But yes, there will be more Wings of Fire. Um, there's the graphic novel, too. The seventh graphic novel is coming out December 26th. But, um, but for real novels, like new stories in the series, I'm hoping um, within the next year or so. I'm, I'm definitely working on it. Yes. Okay, perfect, right. perfect. Tui, thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. Again, thank you for scoring uh, cool points for cool Jason points. and I with cool our kiddos. Points. We Parents appreciate you. Cool points, yes. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs>